What's up everybody? I'm Tony Anthony and this is Tony Anthony TV. Um, I know a lot of people are shocked right now, still mourning and celebrating the life of Chadwick Bosman, who uh, who died uh, this past Friday uh, from colon cancer. You know, he'd been uh, battling that disease for four years. Uh, many surgeries and uh, chemotherapy and things like that. And so, you know, prayers go out to his family and, uh, and all that, you know, rest in peace, brother. But I want to talk to you guys because me and Chadwick had something in common. Early this year, um, I, I was diagnosed with colon cancer as well. And um, when they called me and told me that I had a cancer tumor, um, I wasn't shocked, but I'm more numb than anything. I was, you know, surprising. But um, I asked them, I said, well, can you just take the tumor out and I'll be good? They said, yes, they could. And, but they gotta make sure it didn't spread. So they have to operate and all that. So I said, well, let's do it right away. Let's get going. I don't wanna waste no time with it. So we had the operation and um, they got the tumor out. And so I was in the hospital for about maybe four days, I think. And uh, it just, the operation was success. I went home and they said that you could rest up at home after a while. And uh, about two weeks, um, I went back to get these, these staples out. And when I, got, when I went to the doctor to get the staples out, he had told me that the cancer spread to my lip nodes. There was two lip nodes that was infected and that I need to get uh, chemotherapy and radiation right away. Instantly, I said, well, first of all, I'm not doing it. I don't believe in chemotherapy. I have family members who had cancer who took that. Uh, they work for them. I'm not doing it. And so the doctors wasn't happy with that, you know, with my response. But uh, strange thing was happening with the doctor. He has, he started saying he don't lie. He's not a liar. And me and my wife, we just looked at each other like, what's wrong with this dude? And I told him, I, I didn't call you a liar. I just said, I'm not taking no chemotherapy. I don't, I'm not taking no radiation. I'm not doing none of that. Because chemotherapy kills everything the good and the bad cells. And so I don't want to do it. And so I didn't. So I said, thank you, but no thank you. We're going to go my own way and I'm going to let God lead us. So after talking with uh, my wife and my family, friends, uh, praying about it and everything, we decided to go the you know holistic way. And so I remember when I was home, I was watching a lot of YouTube and I was watching a friend of mine, his church. He had this guy, it was a medical missionary guy. And he came to the church and he was saying that he could take uh, cancer out of your body without even operating. I'm thinking, where was this guy at before I had the operation? So, uh, so I decided to call the church and ask for his number, want to hear what he had to say and everything. And he said that he could come to town and he could probably help me, but he was going out of the country. And if I could wait about a month, I don't want to wait a month. I wanted this thing out of me, whatever, and the lymph nodes and all that. I wanted it out. So he uh, directed me to a, a young couple in Oklahoma who they, you know, practice medical missionary. They love the Lord. They practice health messages. This is what they do. They work with him for about five years, and they, they did this. So I decided to go to Oklahoma for 10 days. And 10 days, you know, when I first got there, I, I could barely walk because, you know, from the, I was still healing from the wounds from the operation, those staples that was in me, and I could barely walk. So they, uh, the wife picked me up, uh, the couple picked me up and um, took me there and I got there. The first thing they did was, you know, they prayed with me and they started feeding me raw foods. 
I mean, very little cooked food. We had some cooked food, but it was raw foods. And um, it was it was beautiful, man. I mean, I had no problem with that because I was already a vegetarian. And the funny thing is that I was a vegetarian for nine, uh, nine going on nine years, but I was an unhealthy vegetarian for eight. Because a lot of people don't understand that when you become a vegetarian or go vegan, you need to do the research. It's not just not eating meat, but you gotta watch your bread. You gotta watch your sugar. You know, things that turn, uh, you have hidden sugar in things. And so, um, I had to do that because I was eating a healthy. I was eating a lot of pastas that turned into sugars and different things, you know. And so, they were giving me a lot of a lot of super green food that is known for healing and crucifix foods and things like that. And so uh, we did that every morning at about seven o'clock. We would have worship, we would eat breakfast, and then we'll go for a walk, a nature walk or you know, just a walk. Then after the walk, I would get like uh, some juice and then they would have a class. So we were going to the class. It was more like nutrition and um, minister of healing, things like that. Then after where I started the treatments and you know, uh, steam bath, all that, all kind of treatments. I mean, it was, some of the treatments was crazy. <laughs> I do not want to talk about it. But it, it was good for you, <laughs> it was healthy. So, um, and I did that for 10 days. And let me tell you something, God is so good because I was feeling better each and every day. Each and every day I was feeling better, I was getting stronger. You know, when I, my average weight was about 200. After the operation and, and all that, I was about, when I got down to Oklahoma, I was about maybe 181. So I lost about 20 pounds. That was not happy. I was headed toward 175. That's like my high school weight. And I'm like, not even trying to go back like that, you know. So, um, well, my last day, the night before they, I was getting ready to go home, they had um, uh, the doctor friends of theirs came by. I told them what was going on with me. And they wanted to do this test. And they did a uh, CEA test. And it's kind of a special test to find the cancers in your body. And we did that. And um, I think maybe two days, maybe, I got the results back. Um, no, actually came back the next day on the way to the airport. And they said that a person who smoke with the same type of cancer that I have, their numbers will come back as uh, 5.0. And a non-smoker would have been same cancer, 2.5. My numbers came back 0 0.5. At this point, I'm like, Whoa, God is good. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I was so ecstatic. I was like, whoa. You know, um, God has been good to me. And I believe in letting food be your medicine. I believe in God's health plan. Uh, uh, God's plan It is health ministry. Because, you know, these doctors, and I don't have a problem with doctors. Not all of them, but... I don't believe in the drugs. Now, I have no problem with the operations because God did the first operation with Adam. But I do believe in preventative measures and cleaning your body and treating your body as a temple because if it's not like the temple, how can God dwell inside you? You know what I'm talking about? So, um, I just want to say that I wish... I, I, I knew Chadwick and, and a whole bunch of others that, you know, maybe you should try a different way. Maybe they did. I don't know. Uh, maybe it was progressive. But God is the key in all things. And so I'm still here today. And um, when I left that place, I decided to keep that treatment going. You know, I eat, I eat a lot of vegetables, green foods, organic, uh, 
clean my system, you know. I do have a cookie here and there. I have a pie, I'll have a piece of cake, but I don't do it. I clean my system out. And I'm not saying that, you know, uh, don't do chemo. I chose not to do it, okay? Now, research everything. Research, if you're dealing with some type of cancer or your family members, research because there are cures out there there are you can clean your body out from those those toxins and that's what we have to do and so you know don't don't fret and believe that God is a great physician you know and um, you know my ministry is you know I want to help people get well I want to uh, you know keep you laughing keep you smiling and I want to minister because the Lord is on his way and I want to be healthy and 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 if you're not healthy he's going to heal you but believe in him have that relationship with him and um, I just want to tell you guys that you know I just want to reach out and just say that, that my little testimony you know but it's something that I'm still happy and I'm grateful today and I want to thank a lot of my friends and family you guys and my church and Everybody and the Facebook friends, everybody was praying for me. That's what Kelly, everybody was praying for. People didn't even know we was praying for me. So I'm grateful for that. And so when people say, hey, pray for my uh, friend, this and that and the other, who dealing with the disease, cancer, whatever it is, I pray. Because prayer does work and it's the key. And, uh, you know, don't give up. And with prayer, you have to believe as well. Because let me tell you something. I had, when I first heard it, and I'm thinking, the first thing coming to your mind is, okay, I'm dying. I'm about to die. What about my family? What about my wife? You know, everybody. But I said, Lord, if you want me to die, okay, cool. But it, let it not be in vain. So if, it, if I die, let someone, you know, uh, reach someone, they will bring you know them to you but at the same time I think you already sent Jesus Christ to die for the world and you know already so if you ain't got to have me then you know you ain't got to do that we can find another way <laughs> cure me but um but I was ready though I was like because when he told me and, and, and when the doctor told me that I was stage three and we need to work on it fast and quick and hurry yeah at that point I was like, okay, well, I'm going to fight, but if I got to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go on God's side. So, you know, uh, but I just kept the faith, though, and just kept believing in God and just wanted to just, you know, do the right thing. So I just want to encourage you all, you know, someone might be dealing with something. It's not over until God says it's over. And that's what I had to believe. It ain't over until God says it's over. And I'm still here. This was in January. Now it's September. And I'm healthy. And I'm feeling good. And I watch what I put in my body. And I try to keep everything natural in my body. And I watch the sugars. You know, um, if I can get away with no sugar, I try to do that. But everything has sugar. So I try to keep it at single digits. But I flush the system out. I do. You know, I'm drinking my, I drink good water. Uh, not every water is good water. I drink good water. I do distilled water and I get some uh, nutrients uh, put in there, uh, trace minerals. I do some alkaline and I do some um, natural good water. I test my water as well. You know, people, we got to understand that when you get older, your body changes every seven years. And the older we get, if we're not exercising, we're not putting the right foods in our body, you're more... Uh, uh, the chance are greater for you to catch all kinds of disease. So let's be mindful of ourselves. Let's watch what we eat. If you eat all that meat, pull back on that. A lot of sweets, pull back on that. Get you some fruits, get you some vegetables. Get you, uh, 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 just start watching what you eat, put in your body. And I feel great. I do. So I just want to give you a shout out, a little testimony. And, uh, you know, those who may be going through something and if you lost loved ones, you know, uh, 
be praying for you and pray for me that it keep this up. So, you know, that's what we do. And uh, like and subscribe. You know, I got some content coming and uh, we're gonna try to uh, spread the message, health message, three angels message. And we're gonna do some unique things, you know. I got some, um, I got some more skits coming for you guys. And uh, I hope you like it and I hope it, you know, entertain you, make you think. And uh, really, you know, I was just praying that the Holy Spirit would touch someone and uh, let us all get ready and spread this word and get ready for, you know, Christ is soon to come. All right, y'all. I'm Tony Anthony. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.